iOS 18 is one of the biggest updates we've ever seen. There are so many ways to customize your iPhone now. You can change the lock screen, your home screen, or even your control center. After playing for months with iOS 18, I'd like to share with you my top 12 hidden features you absolutely didn't know and you need to know right now. So without further ado, let's dive into the video. Let's start with number one, and that is that you can actually now see button animations within your iPhone hinting at the fact that buttons might disappear on future iPhones. So let me show you how that looks. If I press the volume buttons here up and down, you can see this black little input on the sides, the same as with the on and off button. You can see actually this little inside animation indicating that probably future iPhones won't have touch buttons on the outside anymore. Maybe it will be more haptic touch um, software design. Number two is that we now have the possibility to distract items within Safari. So let's say we go to apple.com and we want to remove or hide certain objects. You can actually do that by tapping on this icon here on the search bar and you can click on hide distracting items and now everything you click will be removed by this awesome animation check this out double tap and bomb just like that you can hide anything one of the best use cases for this is for example when you're going to certain website with a lot of ads or pop-ups you can easily remove this so let's say for example we go to apple pie recipe often on these recipe websites there are a lot of distracting things so already a pop-up uh, high distracting items up oh, there we go there's more here you can see how annoying these are and how easy it is to remove these and there you go they're gone and now if you refresh the page actually you have to redo this all this is just for that one single time for that one page so let's say i refresh it and you can see some things will probably return there you have it to pop up again number three is as you can see here on my home screen all the labels are gone of the apps and you can actually really easily do this by going into edit mode in the home screen click on edit customize and here actually going from small to large you see you can hide the labels on your apps really clean and nice look number four is within the notes app and that is that you now have the possibility to insert audio files so if you click on the attachment you can now add a record audio file so now let's just record this audio as we speak and see it it's recording and now if i pause you can actually see you also have this transcript and you can add that to the notes just like that you have the transcript together with the new recording and you can play it record this audio as we speak and Really nice that this now has been added to notes as well. Also talking about audio recordings, number five has to do with the voice memos app because now as within the notes app, you have the possibility to make an audio recording and at the same time get the transcript. We click the three dots and then you can see a view transcript. Just as within a notes app, we now have this transcript that we can copy and paste wherever we want. Useful if you're recording a conversation and need the text immediately. Number six, has to do with the new flashlight and the new flashlight is absolutely stunning i don't know who designed it if you enable it you have this awesome animation here and now there are actually two ways that you can operate it you can swipe from the bottom to the top to make it brighter or less bright but you can also swipe from the left to the right to actually control the beam width. You can actually adjust the width of the beam. It's really, really neat. I don't know who made this app, but I'm actually in love with this animation. For number seven, we go back to the notes app. We now have the possibility to make calculations just by drawing. So if we open up our pen tool, and now, for example, we make a calculation five plus you can now solve these within the notes app and you can make any adjustments if you want and you can for example also make top down calculations you can see it just like that you can add a one for example here and it automatically adjusts this number eight is that we can make vocal shortcuts you don't have to initiate siri anymore what you can do actually is when you go to notes scroll down to accessibility in accessibility, we go down to speech and you have vocal shortcuts. And as you can see here, I've made already a vocal shortcut, but let's make another one. Let's say, for example, I want to open the camera by saying snap. 
Uh, we select the camera. Then we need to come up with our custom phrase, which for example is snap. And we need to repeat it three times, just how you would normally say it. Just so let's do that. Snap, snap, snap. And there we go, our action is ready. And now if I say snap, you see it opens the camera just like that. Really awesome quick feature. Useful if you quickly want to open anything or initiate a shortcut. Number nine, and that's that we have the possibility to lock and hide apps. So if you long press on any app, you have this option here to require face ID, which actually means that you have two things here. Or you can lock the app only by requiring face ID. So let's do that. And now if you want to open this app, face ID is required just like that. Again, let me show you face ID is required. Let me show my face and there immediately it opens and the second thing you can do now you also have the possibility to hide the app and require face ID so let me show you how that works the app is now hidden to find it back you need to go to the app library which is right there and if we scroll down you can see we have this hidden folder here that's only accessible through face ID there you go. And there you can see the app that we have hidden. And if you want to put the app back, you have to long press it just like that. And then select don't require a face ID. And then it's available again. You can add it just like that on your home screen again. Number 10, that we have the possibility to immediately create widgets on the home screen. So we don't have to go in jiggle mode anymore. Just long press any app. And then you can see here, you got these four options depending on obviously the app that has the different sizes. So for example, in the photos app, you have them all. And now if we select just this one, you can see immediately it makes a widget just like that on your home screen. Not all the apps have this, but it's really nice that you can immediately resize these. And you can also immediately resize them in jiggle mode. So for example, we want to make this the biggest widget that we have, just do it like that or make it a little bit smaller and you can see really awesome immediately resize the widgets on your home screen all right number 11 has to do with the camera app because you now have the possibility to play music and at the same time just keep recording with regards to copyrights i'm not going to use any music here but you have the possibility to just listen to music and at the same time just film because in the past it, this was actually not possible if you would open the camera app your audio would stop play and now you can just film and at the same time listen to your audio when you have earpods in this is really really nice or even if you'd like to film and at the same time use the music that's playing well now that's possible in ios 18. and lastly number 12 is that you now don't need to use the button combination the power on and off and the volume up button to power off your iPhone. You can also immediately do this from the control center. You can see it here, swipe from the top right to the bottom. You have this, you have the power off button here in the top right. Let's long press it just like that. And you get prompted to the power off screen, bomb. And just like that, you can power off your iPhone. All right, guys, I hope this was helpful. Thanks for being here and see you in the next one. Peace.